My name's Roy Esquivel, and this is The Bag In. It was an idea I had several years ago. I bought this property that it's on and thought to myself, what could I build that would be fun for my kids to play in? I originally thought a tree house, but we didn't have any good trees, so then I thought a hobbit hole would be cool. And then I realized if I built a hobbit hole, I could probably turn it into something that I could rent out, and that's what we have today. Let me bring you inside and show you around. So when you walk in, you walk into this great room. Now, a lot of people have wondered about a hobbit hole and how tall it is, but I made this 10 feet tall because the idea is that you're a human coming here to pretend to be a hobbit for a day and have that relaxing thing. So I had this great, great room made so you can have the comfort of sitting on a couch while you watch television, or you could be at the table enjoying a meal. And I designed it specifically as a couple's retreat so it has one bedroom with a king size bed and a luxurious bathroom. So let's talk about the door for a second. As you can see, the door has this large round frame and it only opens as like a regular size man door. The original intention was to actually have an eight foot round door, but during the construction, the people who did the concrete work put in an archway instead of a circle which then prevented me from putting in a full one. This is how I was able to give it that classic hobbit hole round door feel without needing to bolt it to concrete that was too far away or having a hinge that would be three feet off the wall. But it still gives us that classic feel when the door is closed both on the inside and out. So I actually put this here for the idea that, you know, when you first come in, uh, you could have a nice, comfortable place to sit to remove your shoes and put them and keep them out of the way so it would be easy. But the great oak feature of it, of all this wood coming together, worked well because immediately adjacent to it, you can see that I have this oak wine barrel. This is actually an oak wine barrel that was used for wine. It's even been stamped on the top, so it tells you what part of France this wine came from. And originally what I did was I cut this barrel open and I put a mini fridge in it. But the fridge was so small that I understood that my guests were gonna need something larger to benefit them more. So what it is actually used for now is board games on the inside. But this is a true oak barrel for wine that was used for that purpose. And I just kinda like the, the little accent that you can see where this barrel came from originally and how it eventually got to here. Now let's talk about this table right here. Now, as you can see, this table is a barrel on top with a Lazy Susan that spins. And you might think to yourself that this was custom made or special order. I just lucked out with this one. I went to a furniture store and they had this table and I thought to myself, that's gonna go perfect with what we're looking for. And one of the things that I enjoy that most people don't know about is that this is actually a hidden compartment under here with shelves. So one day, who knows, maybe I'll hide something in there because I added so much detail to this place to begin with, I didn't want the doors to just be plain. So as you can see to the entrance to the bathroom right here, I have a hand carved door that's painted by somebody from Turkey that I had specially designed. And it gives us a character feature from the feature films. Now I did a significant amount of stone in here, including the floor. I wanted to give it that cozy cave feel something that spoke luxury and elegance, but still gave us the classic idea that we are actually in a hobbit hole with the materials that they could have used then. The vanity over here, this is actually a hand carved vanity that I purchased the sinks and the, the faucets separate because it ties both worlds together in one piece of furniture. It gives us the stone and it gives us the wood both things that we're used to in, say, the Hobbit movie, where we have hobbits where everything's made out of wood and dwarves where everything's made out of stone. 
To give you a nice feel of space, comfort, and relaxation, I have this large soaker tub right over here that can give you all of the comfort of a deep, warm soak. And then, just in case you're actually extra tall, I have this walk-in shower with an eight-foot shower head, completely done in wood and stone to give you an authentic hobbit hole feel. Now, of course, no couple's retreat would be complete without a master bedroom. And just like the bathroom, I wanted a grand interest into here. However, I wanted a little bit of a different feeling, so I went with this particular scene to give you that comfort before you walked inside. And then I designed and laid out this bedroom for maximum comfort. King size bed, so you'd have plenty of space to sleep, a nice tilted window so you could have a beautiful view whether you're just waking up in the morning or going to bed and watching the nighttime scene out there, along with some nice comfortable paintings on the wall that give you that at home if I'm a hobbit feel, like our good friend Gandalf and this night scene of a hobbit hole over here. Now this right here is an interesting feature in the fact that, yes, it looks like a built-in bookcase, but this is actually a hidden door that enters into a utility closet where the hot water heater is head, cleaning supplies, and some other things that help run the space. But instead of just having a door here that nobody would be allowed to access, I put in this bookcase to give us some more of the features, including the key of Eobor, which many people have used to try to open the door. And I do hope to one day build in a feature where that somehow unlocks this and you can see what's inside, even if it is just a hot water heater. So some of the features like this tree here were put here kind of out of necessity. There's actually a pipe hidden in this tree that didn't quite fit in the wall because this is actually a concrete structure to give all the strength that the building would need to hold up the, the roof that grows actual grass. So this is what I did to replace it. And this arm of the tree actually holds the arm of the pipe. Now, I wanted the ability to have high technology without feeling like it has high technology. So I created features like this, where you could have a TV connected to Wi-Fi, watch all your favorite movies, including some extended edition Blu-ray discs that I provide for Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit, but without seeing it all together. If you want to just relax and pretend technology doesn't exist for the most part, this closes right back up and you're good to go. Now, of course, hobbits do enjoy their food and we're a little bit different today, so I created this nook over here. I was not able to create a full kitchen based off permitting purposes, but what I have for you is a microwave, a Keurig, and a mini fridge, along with dishes that I supply, and I can clean up and, and take care of all this stuff for you. So it's easy to order in and have a meal, but you can put it on plates to give you a little bit more of a comfort from home kind of feel. Thank you for doing this tour of the Bag Inn with me here in Salem, Oregon. If you'd like to book this place, you can find it on Airbnb and you'll find the link below. Thank you.